Good evening and welcome to Sea Fishing with CJ, back on the beach. Another lovely evening, I've um, got two rods out, hoping for a sole and a bass. That's what, I'll be a happy man if that happens, um, but to be quite honest with you, it's just nice to get out of the house, get down the beach and get in the fresh air. Sun is virtually down now, there's a little bit of a red glow in the background there, um, tide's on the way in. So. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen in the next couple of hours. So, let's get fishing. Right, we'll wind this in, see if we've got anything on the single little worm. I thought I saw some knocks just now when I was uh, rigging up, but it might have just been me knocking a tripod. I'm going to put a second hook onto here. It's pitch dark and there's a bunch of idiots swimming here. I'm going to swim into my lines. They've got to be nuddy swimming, don't they? No, no fish, no worm. So. There is something out there eating baits, but um, it's not a fish taking hook. Can't agree, Billy Bob. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ridiculous behaviour. Right, we've got a bit of activity on the left-hand rod. Put some light on it. Quite good, solid little rattles. Look at that. That's good. That's got a whole squid on it. Yeah, we're going to wind that in, I think. Yeah, definitely something going on there, isn't there? So let's have a look and see what we got. Not quite sure I'm going to light this. I didn't bring the right light with me tonight. But we'll give it a go. What we got here in the way of light. Let's see if this is bright enough. Give us a bit of light anyway. Still banging. Still something vibrating there. I think it might be an eel on the end of that actually. Nothing rattling and banging. And no great weight, so I sneakingly suspect it's gone. Oh, I don't know. Might have just met the bottom of the shingle. What have we got? I think we have a conga, conga, conga. Right, 
So there we go. First fish of the night. Tonight is not a blank, so I've got to do the it's not a blank dance in a minute. Um, get this bad boy off, it's not too badly hooked. Got a towel here somewhere. Yeah, it's quite hard to hold on to. You know, have, a, have it a backing into your hand. You're putting a hook into your hand if you're not careful. All these little congrils, let's just hope that, that means that um, there's some big congrils coming. I'm going to have to get a disgorger out, I think. Come on, disgorger, where are you? So just let the weight of the fish take it off the hook. We'll wrap it up in a bit of cloth and we'll put it back in the sea. So we can get a little selfie picture first. There we go. Whoops. One very lively little conga. It's getting back. Swim, swim, little conga. I think we're gonna have to move soon. away. So, a conga, not a blank. To get this baited up, I think we'll move up the beach. We'll put a fresh one on. We've got plenty. Bit of ground bait. I showed you how I baited my squid up in the last video, so I'm not going to bore you with it again. But we do need to bait up and then get out and then move up the beach away because the tide is fast approaching. So I'll just stop videoing for now. Boop. Right, well, I thought I'd bring in this. Uh, a worm rig just to see if there's anything on there or see if the baits are still there and as, I was, as it was coming through the surf I saw a little flash I thought was that a fish <laughs> well there you go a very small pouting very small so that probably explains why the baits are getting robbed um, we're getting back to I suspect to feed a bigger pouting little pouncing away sorry yeah uh, Bob Mortar for stealing your away but I like it so I'll get some new worms on this and uh, get it back out there Whoa, look at that moon. If you get a, view, a better view of that when it's over the sea. I think it's probably burn out, burning out the, uh, it's just, it's going to be white on the uh, screen there. Um, remember how to do it.
right hand rod here. I didn't know I'd been filming for ages, so put the camera back on. A little knock, knock on it. Do the burps again. Two baits out there on that rod. We're soaring a little bit of weed on there as well, but it was getting the rattle just now. Those flies and moths and things being trapped into our lights. Probably because there's no wind at all, it's beautiful. And got a huge moon coming across the, the town. Hopefully we'll be able to see soon and get a soon enough reflection on the sea. Camera shy fish now. Now I put the camera on and nothing happened. Which is not true, it was filming, so I did get it on film. Stop filming now and see what happens. Amazing effect, the moon on the waves breaking. Well, we have got a little bit of activity on the right hand rod, but the tires are twitchy, so it's probably another one of those little pouting. Um, now I put the camera on, it probably won't do it, but uh, next time we get a twitch, we'll, we'll wind it in and see what we've got. Put a little bit of lighting so you can see the rod. I'm just going to use this sparingly because this is the only light I've got left. And uh, I'm going to need it to pack up. Yep, so, <laughs> typical, isn't it? Put the camera on, it stops doing it. Camera shy fish. Bet if I stop the film now, it will start switching again. What's up, mate? Right, I'm going to stop this little bit of film now. Um, I'll wind in a second and I'll film that. Still getting a little bit of a knock and a rattle on this um, rod, so let's let's wind it and see what we've got. I'm suspecting either the bait's been robbed or we've got a little pouting on here. Mm. Some fighting. I mean, it feels like I'm bringing something in, but there we go. Well, there's something there, something tiny. A tiddly little white in, which I think has taken both hooks. Yeah, so another little tiny white in.
and truly spun up the line. See whiting, little pouting I meant. It's not a whiting, it's a pout whiting. A pout ding! Freshen these baits up and get this bad boy back out there. Sort out my bait bucket, which is all over the bloody shingle. Why is that unclipped then? A bit annoying. Oh, it's broken, that's why. Oh. <sighs> so much for that. And glue that back on. Bait sorted out, get this bait back in the water and then we'll sort that out afterwards. That old tide is catching up. Time and tide, they say, it is catching up. So let's get this rod back out in the water. And the right hand rod is going loopy. Yeah, definitely rattling. Let's wind them in, see what we've got in there. And then get both rods out. See, it's a little bit more serious. Well, maybe not. The flies coming up into the beam of my light. Anything here? No. It was rattling and tugging like a good one, though. Both worms are intact. So let's get this squid out. And then we'll get that one set up and get that out as well. Well, we just had an incredibly big bite on this right-hand rod, and then he pulled the rod rests over. But... There are only tiny little hooks on there. That's the sort of bite I'm expecting to see on the bloody squid. But nothing now. So he's either bitten the hook off, or robbed the bait, or just spat it. Absolutely lunging bite. Ah, oh. still there, still there.
Hey. Not feeling anything lunging now. Not feeling anything fighting or pulling. There's a bit of weight. Oh, there we go. It's, I do declare, let's hope the camera is still running, but the target species has been achieved. Achieved. Look at that. Well made up with that. Is it on the camera though? Have oh, we got the film in the right, right direction? Is it filming? Oh, it'd be the sod's law. No, look at that. It's there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What we've been after for all these bloody years. Well made up with that. Well made up with that. Trying to get the light on it without dazzling everybody. Yes. Yes, baby. Whoops. Can't see where you're gone. <laughs> you, my friend, are coming home to tea. You actually snapped the line. Is that all right? Yeah. Extremely made up with that. God. Oh, bloody impossible to hold on to. They've got really abrasive scales, but their face, face away from you. So they'll go one way, but not the other. But yeah, really made up with that. Let's get a, let's get a phone picture as well if I can. What on my phone? Probably stood in it. Get my headlight on so I can find my phone. Oh, there it is. Well, off this mark here, this spot here, always was a soul mark. And it just goes to show it still is. Happy days, happy days. What we've been trying to